So now that spring is here, a lot of people are going to start participating in a little more physical activity. We're going to start running, some people are going to start playing soccer as it starts to dry out a little bit. So we see that every spring we start to get some injuries related to getting back to more physical activity. We see a lot of hamstring pulls, groin pulls, quad pulls, you haven't ran all winter, and now we're going to go outside and start running. So we're going to look at a couple of things we can do to prevent these injuries. Simplest thing is, number one, can you stand on one foot? For at least 10 or 20 seconds. If you don't have good single leg balance, running is basically just jumping from one foot to the other. Uh, we got to work on improving better balance, whether that's strength and coordination from our foot, better muscle activity of our hip. You should be able to stand at least 10 or 20 seconds on one leg. You should actually be able to do it with your eyes closed. That's a little quick test you can do to see do I have good enough balance or good enough proprioception to start running. We, the other things we want to look at is can I exaggerate the position I'm going to be in? So as I run, I have to straight extend or stride. We've talked about some of these tests before. I should be able to straight leg raise so that my heel breaks the middle of my opposite thigh. We'll see a lot of people raise their leg up and that's as high as they can get their leg. That's going to be tough because you're going to have to get your leg probably further than that when you run. So if you strain your hamstring, that shouldn't be a big surprise. I should also easily be able to kick myself in the butt. When I run, I'm going to have to flex my knee, and if I don't have good knee flexion, you're going to straighten your quad. And then the last thing we're going to look at is can I exaggerate the full stance or the full running stride? Most people are going to need to do this on a step, but ideally we do it right down to the floor. I'm going to come down and step out into a nice tall plank. Can I get my foot outside my hand with my knee on the ground? This half of my body is in a very deep squat position. If I can comfortably get into this position as part of my warm up, I'm going to be pretty sure that I can run without pain. When we play soccer or other activities where we're going to have to go laterally, we're going to have to make sure that we warm up the inside of the hips. So again, if I want to make sure that I'm not going to strain my groin, I can start down on all fours, make sure my back is nice and neutral, bring my leg out to the side, and now as I sit back, if you have to round your back a lot to come back, that means you don't have any hip mobility and we're using the motion of our spine. I want to keep my back nice and straight as I sit back, only as far as I need to, to get a good stretch down the inside of my leg. If we can work through that movement, 10, 20 seconds, just to make sure we've got adequate mobility on the inside of the thigh, that's going to decrease the likelihood that you can strain your groin. So we don't want to pull our hamstring, don't want to pull our quad, don't want to strain our groin. Warm up those movements, foam roll, and you should be able to play soccer, run, do whatever you want, pain-free.